Welcome to Buzz Around the Globe with India today. A resident of Israeli annexed East Jerusalem wounded on Monday five pedestrians in the city center before being shot dead in what Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called a terrorist attack. Those hurt included a 70-year-old man who was left in a serious condition, as well as a 30-year-old woman. Police said the driver, a man in his 30s, was a resident of Beit Safafa, a Palestinian neighborhood in East Jerusalem. A citizen who witnessed the incident and was near the scene shot and neutralized the terrorist. I hear the bombing, I come outside, I run across the road, and I saw this man on the car, obviously dead. I took a picture of him, then there was a girl on the floor, and uh, a young woman on the floor, there were some people were looking after her, she didn't look serious. There was another young woman on the corner, and she had someone with her, and then the mother came, and then many, many police came, they chased us all away. Police said in a statement, adding the driver was pronounced dead at the scene. The incident took place near the usually bustling Mahain Yehuda market in West Jerusalem. Medics subsequently loaded a body bag into an ambulance while a badly damaged car and dozens of police officers within a cordon could be seen. Speaking after the incident, Netanyahu said, A few minutes ago, not far from here, there was another attempt to murder Israeli citizens. The Prime Minister described the event as a terrorist attack, as Israel prepared to mark the 75th anniversary of its founding this week. It came just hours after Israeli forces killed a Palestinian man during a raid near Jericho in the occupied West Bank, during what the army described as a counter-terrorism operation. Israel has occupied the West Bank since the 1967 Six-Day War, when it also seized East Jerusalem. Prior to the Jerusalem incident, the conflict had this year claimed the lives of at least 97 Palestinians, 19 Israelis, one Ukrainian and one Italian. These figures include, on the Palestinian side, combatants and civilians, including minors, and on the Israeli side, mostly civilians, including minors, and three members of the Arab minority. Do tell us what you think of the video in the comment section and for more news updates subscribe to India Today.